So today is May 7th, and what we've been doing today is catching some sanderling. Sanderling are these little birds, people call them like little wind-up toy birds that run and follow the waves out and run back up the beach. Everybody who's been to the beach around here is familiar with them. Today's May 7th, within the next two or three weeks these birds are going to be uh, they're going to be flying to from here to all the way to Saskatchewan, to Chaplin Lake, and they're going to hole up there for a little while, feed on some goodies there, and then they're going to wait until the Arctic thaws, and they're going to leave from there direct and fly all the way to the high Arctic, which is where they breed. So, as you can see from, uh, from some of our catches today, a lot of these birds are starting to put on breeding plumage. They're starting to get a little bit reddish in the head and in the, in the feathers, starting to look really beautiful and uh, they're starting to gain mass as well. So what they've got to do is be able to leave here and fly about two or two and a half days direct to, to Canada. And in order to do that, they're gonna nearly double their weight. So they've got to start that process probably sometime in mid-April or in early to mid-April. So they need beaches uh, throughout that entire period and they need to have uh, a free availability of food in order for them to uh, just about double their weight. Pretty amazing, they're gonna burn all that off on their way to, by the time they get to Saskatchewan, and then they're gonna do it again before they go to the Arctic. And uh, probably by late July, early August, we'll see these birds back here again.